Now, how many times do I have to tell you guys no drinks on the table? Get out of here, you mooch. I'll give you a lead enema. I think table three could use some more nachos. Put that away, dickhead. Relax. That thing's hot, man. That's the piece I used to cap that old man. There's nothing to worry about. We gotta win clean. States computerized judicial system. In accordance with Penal Code 122067, you are to be executed now.
Enemies here. Secure your positions. with Intranews. Outside Cybercore industry, teams of protesters gather to express their disapproval with the country's newly appointed computerized judicial system, a faction created by Cybercore and inducted into the judicial system eight months ago. The strongest supporter of computerized justice is Senator Bob Dilley, who is making his way into the press conference podium right now. Ladies and gentlemen, settle please. It is my pleasure to introduce Senator Robert Dilley. Position check. Stage right secure. Stage left secure. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's, uh, welcome. Why don't, we, why don't we open it up for questions right away? Senator Dilley, don't you feel that computerized justice is a blatant demoralization of the Constitution? I feel that computerized justice is a misuse of terms. Computers can't make life and death decisions. Justice, Justice isn't run, run by, by computers. computers. It is organized and distributed by computers. But those computers were programmed by men. Computers killed my brother. You're killing people. Wire it tight, boys. Got a lot of angry little faces out here today. Well, what about the Constitution? The Constitution was written over 225 years ago, when the entire country had less of a population than this city. Ross, this is Romero. We have a security guard here who says we have an unauthorized vehicle in Sector 5. Should we check it out? Negative. It's too hot down here. It might be something. Clear the line. Danner, cover me. I'm going to check it out. Philip, start your post. I got a feeling, Ross. There are 20 murders a day in this city. That's a hell of a lot of trials. A lot of trials, a lot of manpower, a lot of money that we just don't have. Killing Dilly ain't gonna stop the system. No, but it'll slow it down. It's a statement. We're going through with a plan. Phillips, come on. Phillips. What's going on? A27, unauthorized vehicle on the roof. Code yellow. Secure it. Dilly, do you think that Mr. Rounds, as chairman of CyberCorp, would care to reveal how much money his company made when they merged with the United States government? Ms. Griffith, that question has no bearing on this news conference. We are here to discuss cybernetics, the wave of the future, the wave of justice. You want to talk about preventing deaths? How about preventing the deaths of innocent policemen killed in the line of duty? Court Tracker is the first step in preventing that. So we file in all the facts and let the computers come up with the verdict? Yes, Ms. Google. And the sentence is then carried out. By robot executioners. By core tracker. Mark, Matt, two minutes. What's next, Mr. Dilly? Cyborg teachers, cyborg doctors? How about cyborg reporters? Mr. Dilly, do you feel the cybernetics industry is advanced enough for this type of responsibility? I feel, I feel cyber. cyber they are the spearheading company in the field. You're lying, Senator! Why are you lying to us? Every legal execution in history has had a chance. of these cases should have been Nothing has been uncovered to any such a Senator, what happens when you have these computers that you have so much faith they should not function? Faith? 
make this for church going. There's nothing to worry about. computerized justice. They call themselves UHR, Union for Human Rights. Some people may disagree with the tactics they displayed here today, but other people believe they are necessary. Meanwhile, we just have confirmed reports that all UHR members were killed. I'm Connie Griffith, reporting. No. Senator, do you feel this was a UHR incident? Of course it was a UHR attack. Union of Human Rights, indeed. What a joke what about my rights. Aren't I human? Were you hurt, Senator? No, I wasn't. And I owe that to Eric. I want you to meet uh, Agent Eric Phillips. He's the head of our uh, Secret Service Detachment. Good work. Do you intend on striking back, sir? I'll let the law take care of that. That's all for now, boys. I got it. Thanks, Senator. Yeah. See if that editor's going to walk 
Let's get one thing straight. You've been with the team for, what, three months now? You and your bunch of SS boys are nothing more than window dressing. I've been head of security for the Senator for six years. Then you should have checked that car out and called in the code yellow. Well, you know I don't need to explain my actions to you, Phillips. But when I'm operating with a limited team, I don't have time to check out every nook and cranny. If the senator gets killed, your excuses are going to look great on your resume. Well, I'll tell you what. You ever leave your post again, you'll answer to me. <laughs> great work there. Thanks, Senator. Just doing my job. <laughs> Just doing your job, huh? You saved my butt twice in one day. Better watch out for this kid. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm telling you, Senator, I don't think he's ready yet. He sure was ready this afternoon. More than I can say for you, by the way. We don't know enough about this guy. We don't know how loyal he is. We know how good he is. He showed us that today. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid that he's better than you? Afraid he's gonna take your job away, Ross? Phillips is nothing more than an impulsive, hot-headed amateur. Now, I think bringing him into the fold at this time is a big mistake. This kid has got something special, and I want him on my side. If we have trouble with him, I want to find out now, before he gets in too close. Well, if that is the case, and he is a problem, then you leave him to me. Lights, Agnes. Good evening, sir. Welcome home. Any messages? None, sir. So what else is new? How was your day? I see. Intra News said you saved the Senator's life today. Yeah, I'm a real hero. I detect a touch of sarcasm. That's what I like about you, Agnes. You're perceptive. Have I done something to upset you, sir? No, I'm sorry. How's your day? Enjoyable. I refused my faulty Evans circuit, and Mr. Perkins next door replaced his old terminal with the new Mary 6000. She's a charming little system. We had a nice chat. Want a drink, Aggie? I really shouldn't. Come on. We got the whole night ahead of us. Let's get drunk. We did last night. You just got more depressed. Come on. Indulge me. Okay, no higher than 5%. Eric, I said 5%. This is too much perception. What was I going to say? You love me. I love you, Eric. Aggie. Agnes 4000, yes, that's my name. Don't overdo it. I mean, wear it out. <laughs> Recall November 23rd, 2014, 11.34 p.m., camera six. Oh, Eric. <gasps> Excuse you. Why do you want to punish yourself? I didn't ask for your opinion, Agnes. Very well. Hi. What are you making? Stew. It's your favorite. Aren't you going to turn around? I saw it on the news. I'm okay. You're always okay. Are you all right? I'm sorry. Why? 
Another scar to add to your collection? All right. Well, I'm not. I'm married to a man whose job is to be willing to die at any given moment for any given reason. Geez, do we have to keep going through this? What kind of a life is that? You knew what I did when you married me. No. You were an investigator when I married you, not, not a bodyguard. Look, I just can't live my life waiting for you to walk through that door, dead or alive. Hey, don't talk like that. Just relax. There's no point in arguing. Is there? I love you. I love you too, Katie. Aggie, sleep. What is it? Priority call, Senator Dilly. Hello? Hi, Eric, it's Bob. Something's come up. Could you please come down here? Yes, sir. Sorry to get you out of bed so early, Eric. What's wrong, Senator? Well, I know you've only been with us for a short time, but you're really becoming part of the family. Right, Mike? Yes, sir. And this is a family, Eric. It's tight like a family. There's certain information that we share with each other that we, we don't share with anybody else. Right, Mike? Yes, sir. See, loyalty, it's what makes a unit strong, impregnable unbreakable loyalty. Some of us have it. Some of us don't. I'm talking about loyalty. That you haven't learned about. Bob, what are you doing? You tried to have me killed. What? Your boss isn't too happy about it. I didn't have 
anything to do with that. Save it, Miss Austin. We know all about you. We've been following you. We know that you're a member of the union. No, no, I don't have anything to do with you. Save it! Relax, Sheriff. Relax. No, don't trust him. This woman knew about the assassination attempt. He's crazy. No. Psychopath. You're out of your goddamn mind. Cybercore has to be stopped. Oh. Oh. Don't fire the building, isn't it? Stay with me. one of yours? What are the charges? Murder. You have proof? You'll find a body in his apartment. Wilshire in third. Gun on the floor has his prints all over him. His prints or hydrosync copies? <laughs> Come on, Chief. Since when were you so concerned with details? Just do your job, keep the peace. I'll meet you at CRC in 20 minutes. We're sending out a tracker. A tracker? I need to see the chief. It's an emergency. Take a seat. I said it was an emergency. Oh, well, that's completely different. Take a seat. Listen to me, asshole. I'm with the Secret Service. If you don't get your chief down here right now, I'll have you demoted so low this desk job will seem like a wet dream. Right, just keep your pants on, all right? All points bulletin. Apprehend on contact. Eric Anthony Phillips. Personal ID code number 2363-995-ALPHA. It's the front desk. I got a guy down here. He wants to talk to you. He says he's with the Secret Service. What's his name? Eric Phillips. Hey, buddy, wait a minute!
problem, Mr. Rounds, a traitor. But you took care of her. I did. This time it's one of my boys. I got the chief on it right now. I'm sending out a tracker as well. Tracker? Is that necessary? I'm afraid so. This guy is good. makes be his last. Voice code eight two seven eight eight Eric Phillips. Thank you. Please wait. Confirmed. Who are you calling? Washington D.C. Department of the Secret Service. Field Commander Charles Thompson. Thank you. Go, pal. Thanks. Please wait. Please wait. Shit. Call cancel. Thank you. I am unit five. Of court drivers. You, Eric Anthony Phillips, have been found guilty of murder by the United States computerized judicial system. Wait! I'm a federal officer. In accordance with penal code 122067, you are to be executed now. You can't shoot me, you're breaking federal code! Screw this.
I'm with the Secret Service. APB out on him. My people think he's a cop killer now. So if he's out there, we'll find him. He's out there, Chief Olson. Then it's only a matter of time. We need another tracker. Another tracker? We needed to get Phillips. He's a threat. Of course he is. He saw you kill someone. If he's a threat to me, he's a threat to you, if you know what I mean. Let me give you a piece of advice. Never overestimate the power of a man. Jenny, have a seat. Men are not men anymore. Tribalism is dead, and mankind is soon to follow. Men are a bug. What do we do with bugs? We crush them. What are you talking about? I'm talking about power. The power over life, over the meek, the meager, the spiritless, the hollow, vacant eyes of our brain-dead children. <coughs> I'm talking about the power over death, over the masses, over the sheep that require domination, the society that has grown so dependent on being told what to do. Hasn't even the courage of a thought. We're in a new generation. Generation of soulless zombies trained to obey, to seek nothing. The Secret Service agent apparently disappeared after the body was found inside his apartment. Here with me now is Mike Ross, head of Cybercore Security. Uh, Mr. Ross, would you say Phillips appeared to be on the edge the night of the murder? Nope, just flipped out. Total breakdown. You know, this guy's a loose cannon. While he's out there on the street, no one's safe. Thank you. Especially you, Ross. 
The police have issued a statewide manhunt for Phillips. If you have any knowledge of his whereabouts, please contact the local authorities. From CyberCorps, I'm Connie Griffith for Intranews. Ah! Hey, pal, all you to do is knock. Where am I? Hey, man, I, you're safe. You're not. Now tell me where I am. I can't say. Who can? Griff, but Griff ain't here yet. Right there, asshole! Gil, I told you to keep that door locked. I did. Just ease down, cowboy. Ease down. He's looking for Griff. Yeah, well, Griff ain't here. Look, I just want somebody to tell me what the hell's going on here. Look, I'm sorry. We can't tell you what's going on yet. Please, just try and be patient. We're not gonna hurt you. Well, tell him that. Jared, please, put the gun down. The guy's dangerous. We can't trust him. I'm dangerous? You're the one with the gun. You guys are UHR, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, we're fucking terrorists. Look, we are with the Union, but we'll explain everything to you as soon as Griff gets here. Who's this Griff? Get back in the room. Jared, put the gun down. He was on their side, Marcus. Well, he's not anymore. We don't know that. Kid, put the gun down. or I'll take it away from you. Try it. Now, where's Griff? Right here. Big TV star has a secret life, huh? Something like that. Marcus, take care of his leg. Relax. I'm a med student. What I need is a doctor. Yeah, well, you're shit out of luck. Jared, go in the other room. Griff, this is a waste of time, if you ask me. I didn't ask you. You're lucky. It's just under the skin. I'll have to cut through to get it out. Well, quit talking about it. Just do it. There's only one problem. I don't have any anesthetic. Hang in there, buddy. Connie! Try to relax, you'll be okay. Uh, career woman like you must have everything she wants. What are you doing with the UHR? Trying to make a change. Uh, oh, sounds pretty sappy to me. I didn't ask you. Okay. I got it. Is that it? <sighs> Felt a lot bigger.
suffer. I watched the White House burn down. I covered the massacre of Greenwich Village. But the worst horror is that people are becoming more and more desensitized to it all, and it's, it's led to this judgment by computer that we all accept without a second thought. We're becoming programmed by the machines we've created. And you know what? It's not going to get any better until we get our justice back. Killing the senator isn't going to help your cause any. I didn't authorize that, Phyllis. I was working with the connection working inside of CyberCore. Stephanie Austin. Yeah. Well, she's uncovered some heavy information, something called Operation Echo. But before she could get it off their computer, she was... Murdered. We know you were set up, Phillips. What is this information? I don't know. All I know is that she was willing to die to get it out. Now it's up to us to try to retrieve it. You have someone else working inside? No. Well, you don't really think you can get inside that place, do you? No. But you can. You've been part of Dilly's security team for three months. You can't tell me that you've never been inside a cyber core. Yeah, dozens of times. But I had clearance. Then you know where the central operations lab is. Yes, but we can't get in. We can with this. Maintenance store access code. I got it from Stephanie. You people really do have a death wish, don't you? Look, Phyllis, time is running out. CyberCorp is working its way deeper and deeper into our government, and pretty soon they are going to be untouchable. Do you understand? We got to move now. And the way I see it, you have two choices. Either you could keep on running or you could fight with us. What are you going to do? takes out another one of these mechanical monsters. Rounds is not going to be happy. Eric Phillips is dead by sunrise. Why don't you let me guarantee that personally? Oh, no, 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 no. It might be questioned. We're playing this by the book. He's a fugitive, and he's sentenced to death. Jared. He could be using us. Did you ever think of that? This could be a setup. They're hunting him, Jared. They're trying to kill him. This isn't a setup. You're losing it, man. Relax. This guy's the best chance that's come our way yet. We are not going to let him slip through our fingers. So, is he in? I don't know. No, just listen to her, honey. Mom, when are you coming home? Not till tomorrow. Now do as Lisa says and stop teasing the cat, OK? OK. I'll see you in the morning. I love you, Mom. I love you too, sweetie. Good night.
Want to see something? Stephanie Austin was a close friend of mine. She got a hold of some of the cyber text data for me. Here, take a look at what we're against. The tracker's endosystem, some kind of high-tempered super alloy. I mean, I'm not a metallurgist, but it's far more impermeable than any metallic compound I've ever seen. My software can't decipher the hydroxic radical that was utilized. Any theories? Uh, I only speak English. <sighs> Sorry. Basically, these trackers... Real badasses. Right. But what's really spectacular... This is circuitry. There's got to be over a billion individual microprocessors. And what's really mouthwatering is this polymorphonuclear substance. You lost me. Yes, I did. That's my point. The tissue content is some type of polymeric gel that acts as a protectant, yet offers complete flexibility. You could put your hand right inside it, but you couldn't actually puncture it. This fucking surpasses in millennia's dimensions beyond any analytical, technical, or otherwise formulated systematical perceptions or deductions of, of any principles or methods of, of, of fucking science. I'm lost too. Yeah, well, thanks. What I'm saying is that this gel that Cybertech has created is the perfect substance. The core tracker is the perfect android. The perfect assassin. Oh, there you are. Connie wants to see you, okay? Wait. How old are you, anyway? Nineteen. Well, shouldn't you be in school or something? Well, if I was in school right now, I couldn't be here now, could I? Marcus, you're going to be on the outside perimeter. Make sure the motor's running and you're ready to go. Once we're on the main laboratory level, this is where it's going to get hot. We're going to have to split up and try to find the central ops lab. No, you won't. I know where it is. I'm in. Well, I feel better already. What is your problem? I'll show you what my problem is. <coughs> Phillips. Don't make me hurt you. Phillips. One of the men you killed at the press conference yesterday was Jared's brother. You killed his brother. I'm sorry. I should have told you. Jared, wait. Okay, let's get everybody ready, Marcus. Let's do this.
Alright, just wait here. Except for the one we wanted. Can we get another tracker? How about two? How about two? Oh, how about three? How about 300? How about we stop wasting time with these mechanized meter maids and send in the real thing? <laughs> Do you actually think you can take him down when two trackers have failed? Let me tell you the forgotten difference between man and the automated terrors you've constructed. Man has one thing integrated into his system no machine ever had. The will to survive. You want him, Ross? You go get him. My pleasure. We gotta ditch this thing. Let's go. They're gone. All my friends. Jared, Allie, Gil. They're gone. Come on. We 
gotta go. The two of us never stand a chance. Connie, Jared and the others wouldn't want us to give up. We can still get that information you needed. Right, the two of us breaking in the cyber core. Sounds like you're the one with the death wish now, if you ask me. I didn't ask you. Let's go. Guards will be back in a second. I can barely read this. Let me do it. I got it. I should put this look like an eight. Looks like a five. It doesn't look like a five. It looks like an eight. Okay, eight, whatever. Just hurry up. I'm not exactly taking a coffee break here, Phillips. They're coming. file it's restricted. I could take the disc home and break the access code there. That chick from Internews. Hey, who are you? Very Godman. What do you mean, stolen? They accessed the code and copied the file. We need to know what they know. And we've got to get it back before that Internews bitch has Echo plastered across the six o'clock news. Ross knows where they might be. He'll take care of them. You tell Ross, I need them back here alive. Now I gotta break this access code and figure out what the hell Operation Echo is. How long will that take? Minutes, hours, days. At least you got it narrowed down. Here. Thanks. Where's your wife? What? Oh, the ring. I'm divorced. 
You still wear the ring. What happened? I had uh, too many scars. I think scars are sexy. I'm divorced too. My husband said I was too aggressive. So I smacked him. <laughs> the second we break this, we are going straight to network. Because whatever it is, we are going to bust it wide open. Well, don't get too comfortable. Lock can happen between now and then. Yeah, but anyone that's outlasted two core trackers has got somebody upstairs on his side. I'm just lucky. I'm Irish. I couldn't ask for a better combination than that. Oh, whoa, this is it. My God. Can't believe it. Is it possible? Oh, anything's possible. Their brains will be covering that wall behind you. You take one more glance at that gun, Phillips. I thought you said you were lucky. Well done, Mr. Ross. Very well done. Very close, Miss Griffith. Closer than anyone has ever come to me before. I get nauseous just thinking about it. You've proven yourself to be one hell of an adversary. Mr. Phillips, you've shown you have quite some spirit. Pity you weren't working for CyberCorp. If I was, I'd be out of a job tomorrow. Oh. Now why is that? Because tonight, I'm gonna burn it down. Of course you are. Now then, I have one simple question. If answered correctly, it might save you some pain. Did you make a second copy of Echo? And if so, where is it? Ross, the cat's got their tongue. Ross, not him. Leaving our party, Senator. I have a um, rally at 8 a.m. And I don't want to sit here and watch you torture two people to death. I do have a touch of humanity left. I'll say, Eric, if you would have played your cards right, you could have had his job in no time. Chief, what about you? I've got a few minutes. Disgrace. Keep pressure here. You'll be all right. Come on. Okay, 
Phillips, it's time. Let's see what you got. I must admit, you handled those robots like a true professional. But I got news for you. I am no robot. What's the matter, Phillips? Guns a problem? Like I need these. There you go. No guns. What's the matter, Phillips? You really just an amateur? Big mistake, Ross. have been convicted of murder.
Yeah. Gotta get Dilly. I can get to him. Thank you all for coming. After all, we are uh, celebrating the dawn of a new age. It's time that we stop making the mistakes our ancestors have always made. It's time we stop being afraid of change. Instead, we should seek it. Stop being afraid of the future. Instead, we should embrace it. I tell you, the computerized judicial system is a road to a better tomorrow. Cybernetics is our future. computerized judicial system from our government, Cybercorp President J. Craig Rounds has disappeared, fleeing charges of treason, conspiracy, and murder. I leave you tonight with this. Crime is at an all-time high, and there are no easy answers to the violence. But we do have something crime can't take, something worth fighting for, and that is the dignity of the individual. The value of the human soul must never be surrendered to the powers that be. In the words of novelist Ayn Rand, I respect no obligation towards men except one, to respect their freedom and to take no part in a slave society. I'm Connie Griffin. What'd you think? Looks like maybe you ought to run for senator. Uh-huh. So, what are you going to do now? Well, I'm waiting to get reassigned. I guess you could say I'm a bodyguard without a body to guard. Hmm, I seem to know someone who needs a bodyguard, but, um, she should definitely need to know that she's your only client. Did you hear anything on Round yet? No. I don't think you will. <laughs> Why is that? Let's just say I gave him a taste of his own medicine. Trackers. Agent, agent, 